There is a truth that very few people recognize when they stand in front of the mirror and wonder why belly fat remains despite trying everything. Your body does not judge belly fat through aesthetics. It judges it through biological safety. This explains why two people can eat the same way, exercise similarly, yet experience completely different results. It is not because one person has more discipline, but because their bodies are receiving different survival signals. From a biological perspective, belly fat is not meaningless excess. It is a protective layer around vital organs such as the liver, intestines, and kidneys. Over hundreds of thousands of years of evolution, the human body has been programmed to preserve this fat whenever the environment feels uncertain, poor sleep, chronic stress, irregular eating patterns, or constant energy intake are all interpreted by the brain as signs of instability. And when instability is detected, the body does not prioritize looking leaner. It prioritizes survival. This is why many people lose fat in their face, arms, or legs first, while the belly remains unchanged. The body always burns the least risky energy sources first. Belly fat is the final line of defense and will only be released once all danger signals disappear. If you live in a constant state of stress, sleep poorly, or eat throughout the day without breaks, the body considers holding on to belly fat a logical decision. Many people believe they fail because they are not trying hard enough. The reality is that their body has never entered a state where fat release is allowed. You can train harder, eat less, and control every meal. But if your nervous system remains in alert mode, those efforts will never reach belly fat. The body is not working against you. It is simply fulfilling its protective role. What matters most is understanding that belly fat does not respond to pressure. It responds to stability. When the body senses consistent rhythms, deep sleep, steady hormones, and an absence of threat, it begins to reconsider how it stores energy. That is when belly fat slowly becomes more flexible, even if the mirror does not show immediate change. Once you understand that belly fat changes only when the body feels safe, the next question becomes critical. What actually turns that sense of safety on or off? The answer is not found in body weight or workout intensity. It lies in the hormonal signaling system the body uses to make decisions every single day. Two hormones play a central role in this process, insulin and cortisol. They are not enemies and they are not harmful by nature. They are gatekeepers. Insulin determines when energy is stored and when it can be released. Cortisol determines when the body needs to defend itself and when it can relax. When these signals remain elevated or fluctuate constantly, the body never enters a state where belly fat can be released. Many people believe that cutting sugar or carbohydrates alone will lower insulin enough, but the body is more complex than that. Insulin does not rise only from sugar. It rises every time you eat, every time you sip something with calories, and even when you eat very small amounts too frequently, without long enough breaks between energy intake. Insulin never falls to the level required to unlock fat storage. Cortisol tells a different story. It reflects how you live, not just how you eat. Poor sleep, late nights, chronic mental pressure, excessive training, and prolonged calorie restriction all keep cortisol elevated. In that state, the body interprets life as unstable. And when life feels unstable, holding onto belly fat becomes a logical survival strategy. This is why many people fast correctly, yet still see no change in their belly. They solve only half the equation. Insulin may drop, but cortisol remains high. The body cannot burn fat while simultaneously preparing for survival. Both signals must align toward a single message. Everything is safe. When insulin stays low long enough and cortisol stabilizes, the body begins to shift its priorities. This shift does not happen instantly. The body observes consistency. It waits. And only after these safety signals are repeated over time, does the body allow belly fat to enter the energy release process? One of the biggest reasons people give up too early 
is because they believe that if belly fat has not changed, everything they are doing must be useless. But the body does not operate in such a visible way. It does not prioritize what you see in the mirror. It prioritizes what must be handled first to maintain survival. When the body finally receives safety signals for long enough, it does not immediately burn subcutaneous belly fat. The first target is visceral fat, the fat surrounding internal organs. This type of fat is the most metabolically dangerous, closely linked to blood sugar instability, blood pressure issues, and chronic inflammation. Removing visceral fat improves health long before it improves appearance, even if you are unaware of it. This is the phase where many people mistakenly believe their approach is failing. They may feel lighter, experience less bloating, digest food more easily, and notice more stable energy, yet their waistline remains unchanged. This is not failure. It is evidence that the body is following its biological order. It cleans the inside before altering the outside. Only after visceral fat drops below a certain threshold does the body shift its attention to subcutaneous fat including the belly fat you can see. And because belly fat acts as a final protective layer, this process always unfolds more slowly than expected. Not because you are doing something wrong, but because the body never sacrifices its last line of defense early. Another reason belly fat responds slowly lies in its biological structure. Subcutaneous belly fat has a lower density of hormone receptors compared to fat in the arms or legs. This means it requires stronger and longer lasting signals before it begins releasing energy. Meanwhile, fat in other areas responds more quickly, creating the illusion that only the belly is resistant. Once you understand the sequence, you stop judging progress solely by your waistline. You begin noticing subtler signals such as feeling lighter, sleeping better, and experiencing fewer cravings. These changes indicate that the body is approaching the stage where belly fat becomes accessible. And when that moment arrives, the visible transformation often happens faster than expected because the hardest internal work was completed long before. When the body begins to exit defensive mode and move closer to releasing belly fat, the greatest danger is not a lack of effort but small mistakes that quietly pull the system backward. This often happens so subtly that people do not realize why belly fat suddenly stalls or returns, even though their diet has not changed significantly. One of the most common mistakes is disrupting circadian rhythm, going to bed late, sleeping lightly, or constantly changing sleep schedules removes the body's sense of stability. In response, stress hormones rise as a protective reflex. At that point, the body no longer cares how little you eat or how hard you train. Poor sleep signals an unsafe environment and fat burning immediately slows. Another frequent mistake is trying to accelerate results by doing more, training harder, fasting longer, cutting calories deeper. These actions may feel productive, but the body often interprets them as deprivation. When deprivation persists, the nervous system shifts into conservation mode, and in that mode, belly fat is never allowed to leave. Mental state is another underestimated factor. The body does not distinguish between work stress, emotional stress, or the stress created by overly strict dieting. To the body, all stress sends the same message, danger. When the mind remains tense, Survival hormones dominate over recovery hormones. As a result, even when everything appears correct on paper, internal physiology blocks visible change. This explains why many people experience belly fat reduction followed by a plateau or rebound. The body is not betraying them. It is responding to conflicting signals. On one hand, there is an attempt to lose fat. On the other, there are signs of instability. In that situation, the body always chooses protection. For belly fat to continue decreasing, the key is not doing more, but maintaining consistency long enough for the body to trust the environment. When daily rhythms stabilize, energy intake is not severely restricted. Sleep is prioritized. 
and stress is managed. The body no longer needs to defend itself. And when defense is no longer necessary, physical change can continue naturally. When you look back at the entire process, the most important thing to remember is not a specific method, but how the body makes decisions. Belly fat does not exist to challenge you. It exists to protect you. And only when the body gathers enough evidence that life has become stable does it become willing to change how it stores energy. Many people spend years chasing surface-level solutions. They switch diets, change workouts, adjust fasting schedules. Yet results remain inconsistent. Not because these methods are useless, but because they are applied in a biological state that does not support change. When the body remains stressed, sleep-deprived, or constantly pushed into deprivation, no strategy can work properly. Real change begins when you shift from forcing outcomes to creating the right conditions. When you eat with rhythm instead of grazing all day. When you prioritize sleep instead of treating it as optional. When you train to support your body rather than punish it. These actions may seem simple, but it is their consistency that convinces the nervous system that danger has passed. As the body begins to trust its environment, biological signals slowly adjust. Hunger becomes more predictable. Energy stabilizes. Cravings lose their grip. And belly fat, once extremely resistant, starts responding in a natural way. Not suddenly. Not dramatically. But sustainably. What surprises many people is that when belly fat truly begins to change, the feeling of fighting the body disappears. In its place comes cooperation. The body starts working with you instead of against you. And that is the clearest sign that you have entered the correct biological state. If you have tried many approaches and belly fat still has not changed, remember this. The problem is not a lack of effort. It is a lack of the right signals. When you align daily rhythm, sleep, stress, and eating patterns towards stability, the body takes over the rest of the process. If you want to go deeper into how to create this biological state, from proper fasting timing to sleep optimization and stress regulation, leave a comment below. The next content will be built directly from your questions.